Islam. My name is Momar, the Moorish Martian. I hail from a solar system called Tau Ceti, which is 12 light years or 4 parsecs from your solar system. Tau Ceti is in the Cetus constellation, and is very close to the Zeta Reticuli binary constellation. I am transmitting this message to you today from my homestead in the Cydonia region on the planet you call Mars. For the purpose of your overstanding, I am an intergalactic sovereign, and I am here to speak to you today about how to use the UCC to correct your status to become an intergalactic sovereign. It is important for you to overstand, that civil law is the law of the land on planets, and maritime law is the law of the sea. Maritime law does not just refer to the oceans and seas on planets like Earth, but maritime law also applies to the vast cosmic seas of outer space. Whether you are referring to a nautical ship which sails on the waters of planets like Earth, or, you are referring to starships or spaceships which sail throughout the cosmic ocean of outer space, all ships are governed by maritime law, known throughout the multiverse as Martian time law, or Moorish time law. This is why our children in Tosseti on Earth, while in the land you call ancient Egypt, used the term Celestial Nile to refer to the Milky Way galaxy, because we taught them the importance of the maritime law of the sea, and the maritime law of the celestial heavens in outer space, as above, so below. You are children of the stars, and your body, your body is both a nautical ship and a starship. See, when a ship is sitting in its berth, and it is tied to the dock, the captain has to give a certificate of manifest to the port authorities. You are a maritime product in more ways than one. You are a celestial maritime product, and you are a terrestrial maritime product. This is why at your birth, as a human being, you have to be given a birth certificate, which has to be signed by the doc, or doctor. You were born physically by coming out of your mother's water, but the soul of you was born in the stars, the celestial waters. To be born, your celestial seafaring soul has to enter your body, and then you sail your ship, your body, down your mother's birth canal, just like a nautical ship. In nautical terms, when a ship pulls into port, the ship is now in its berth. The port authorities need to know what is the value of the ship that has come. The same thing is true when a soul is born into a body on a planet, the authorities of the planet need to know the value, or stock, of the ship, or body, or soul, that has come to the planet. Every human coming out of their mother's water has to have a birth certificate, and your birth certificate is a security on the New York Stock Exchange. Just like governments on your planet Earth have set up systems to own your physical body and trade you as a commodity and stock on the stock market. Well, the Galactic Confederation of Light has set up systems throughout the universe to own your celestial body, to own your soul, according to the universal laws which they have created. This is why it is possible to sell your soul, because your soul is a commodity and stock traded on the intergalactic stock market. Planets all over the universe have been using your soul to make money. Civil law is the law of the land, or the law of planets, and UCC, which stands for Universal Celestial Code, is the law of universe. The UCC, Uniform Commercial Code, on planet Earth was copied from the UCC, Universal Celestial Code, of outer space. The UCC applies to all planets, because if all planets worked on different law, then you could not trust to do business on any other planets, so UCC serves as the holy book of business throughout the universe. UCC is a maritime law which rules the sea and rules throughout the universe. Maritime Admiralty Law, is banking law on Earth, and throughout the galaxy. Money is water by law, that is why it is called currency, like the current of water, cash flow, liquid assets, etc. Your body is a corporation, this is why, when you are alive, your body is called corporeal, and when you die, you are called a corpse. Do you understand the relationship between the words corporation, corporeal, and corpse? How about organ, organism, and organization? The Galactic Confederation of Light wanted to control you, so they created a second you, a physical you, apart from the soul you. They created this physical you, because only the physical can be controlled using methods of pleasure and pain. When you are manifested as a physical being, then you become subject to the laws of the physical plane, you lose your sovereignty. I am an intergalactic sovereign of the Universal Republic of Dark, the Universal Republic of Moors, because more means dark, like the darkness of outer space. Sovereignty is an unalienable right, meaning the right not able to be an alien. Your nationality, or the nation from which you hail, and your planet al Liti, or the planet from which you hail, is your physical sovereignty. Your celestial al Liti, 
or the star or sun your soul is from, is your soul's sovereignty. You must know from which star your soul is from. This is why the science of astrology is so important, this is also why Marish navigators would sail their nautical ships on the seas of Earth, using the stars of outer space. You may declare your physical sovereignty by way of physical paperwork, but to declare the intergalactic sovereignty of your soul, requires metaphysical paperwork. Declare means to make a declaration, to speak the words, to say the words, to bear witness. Your reason and your passion are the rudder and the sails of your seafaring soul. Determine the celestial origin of your soul, and declare your intergalactic sovereignty with the UCC Universal Celestial Code. Peace.